Wayne, how beneficial has it been this week to have a free week clear of games? Yeah, that's right. We've, um, we've wrapped a few up, but we've also put a bit of detail into the lads. Um, off, was, off the back of what was a good uh, performance, I felt on Saturday and, and loads of positives to build on and, and we've done just that this week. And obviously having a week together on the training ground and not the intensity of the game, it's got to be good for the new players as well to settle into what you want and what the other players around them are about. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, the more detail you can put into the lads, the better understanding that they'll be from the group. It's also given us a, a little bit of time for injuries to, to return. Um, which has been beneficial. Um, we've now got obviously numbers back in the squad, which is great, um, and competition for places, which is which is what you need. And obviously going into a really tough game, Northampton chasing promotion again. Yeah, they've they've done great this year. Um, they're good at what they do. They're nice and solid. Um, but having watched them, there's there's lots of areas where we can exploit. Um, and as I said, we can uh, go off what was a, a good performance on Saturday and, and take the positives into the, the Northampton game. Yeah, and is it is it more about seeing what they do and don't do, or more about what we do, or a mixture of both? It's got to be a bit of a balance, really. Yes, you've got to be aware of, of their strengths to nullify what they've got, but you've also got to concentrate on what we've got and how we're going to hurt them. And I think it's massively important that we do that. You know, we did that away to Salford. Uh, we've done it away to uh, to Warrington. Um, and, and we've got good players that can take information on board. So as I say, it's about nullifying them, but also concentrating on what we can do to them. And is it also a case of you know, making sure that everyone is on their game individually, as well as what you do as a collective group? Yeah, that's right. I mean, listen, as an individual, as a, as a player, I was lucky enough to, to do it for 17 years. It's about your own standards, your own performance. First things first is you need to get that right. Um, and then you need to worry about other people. Um, but as long as you can get your own performance right, if you do that from 1 to 11, it's on the pitch, you've got a fighting chance. And then it's about your unit work, you know, your roles and responsibilities within that unit. And then as a collective in, in the team, what we want to try and achieve as a team. So, you know, we're a young team, uh, we've got some young individuals in there, and I think sometimes the most important thing for them is to, is to worry about what they do and the standards that they've got. And as well as adapting to the opposition you're playing this weekend, looks like you're having to adapt to the weather as well. Is that a key to the, the kind of work you do on the training ground? Yeah, it's been testing, uh, testing conditions today. It's been a challenge out there for the lads. Um, but I said to them, in conditions like this, that's where your standards need to be right. Your concentration levels need to be high um, to, to then go and execute passes and, and, um, and give yourself the best chance of being successful in, in, in the session. It's going to be no different tomorrow. I think it's going to be even worse tomorrow. And the hope is that it dies down come Saturday. But as I said to the lads, it might be like this Saturday, where you are going to have to roll your sleeves up and you are going to have to earn the right on Saturday away to Northampton. Um, but they know that. They know that and they're prepared for that. And players that have missed out recently, like some Noah Chilvers, John Akinde, have they been helped by having a whole week of training without a game? Yeah, it helps. It helps their, their recovery, um, their preparation to get themselves fit. Um, obviously, John's been out with COVID, so he's a little bit different. Um, Noah's been training this week, so he's back in, back in the fold. Um, and obviously we've got a few others back as well. So yeah, it does give us that bit of time to get, to get those bodies back and, as I say, gives us competition for places.